Brasilien aufgenommen. Das zweite in Detroit und zwar mit Jim Diamond, der ja auch die White Stripes produziert hat. Da haben wir einfach angerufen und gesagt, hey Leute, wir wollen da eine Platte mit euch aufnehmen. And Jim, you know, Jim said, oh, I like your music very much. Let's record an album. Yes, and uh, he also liked this because he never had worked with a Brazilian artist. And he thought, oh, a Brazilian rock band. And then yeah. was he was good on both sides, yeah, especially for us. <laughs> and you were like really happy when he said, when he said, well, of course, let's do it. Oh, what yes. did you think your chances would be to call him and that he would say yes? I thought we were very small, but when he said yes, we, uh, we were really happy to be in his studio, also in Detroit. Okay. Yeah. Um, tell us about a house. There was a house that was burning down, and that is in lots of your songs. Yeah, yeah, one of our songs in our first album is called Fire in My Building, translated yes. to English. <laughs> and it's about Paula's building. My building, Copacabana, Rio de Janeiro. Uh, a lot of uh, very <laughs> old people, they like leave their ovens on and for gas and go mm -hmm. out. And then one of these times, <laughs> the building caught on fire. And then everybody had to go down, and there was this lady rescued by a fireman by the window. Mm -hmm. And she said she felt like, because there was this story in Brazil about a famous model having an affair with a fireman. Okay. And she said, oh, I felt just like the model, the model. <laughs> <Luma Oliveira, laughs> being, a great story. being rescued <laughs> by this fireman. And then we wrote yeah. the song about that. <laughs> Also Paula hat in einem großen Haus an der Copacabana gelebt und das, auf einmal fing dieses Haus Feuer, da haben ganz viele alte Omas und Opas drin gewohnt und die mussten natürlich gerettet werden. Und damals ähm, geisterte so durch die Presse auch so eine Geschichte von einem brasilianischen Model, die mit einem Feuerwehrmann zusammen war. Und die alte Oma wurde dann da oben rausgerettet und hat zu dem Feuerwehrmann gesagt, ich fühle mich wie die Model so und so, ist das schön. But it wasn't Giselle Bündchen. No, no. 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 <laughs> She's more of a carnival kind of model. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I see. <laughs> that sounds interesting. <laughs> Let's listen to another song of yours. It's called Chiga. Tell me something yeah. about it. It's called Chiga means enough. Yeah. It's enough. Yeah, it's yeah. the like chorus about everything that's good for you, what makes you die, and what's bad for you makes you live. Okay. Make you think. Okay, Tanjore by Muchas M with Chiga. <laughs> and our next album, we'll, we're writing songs in English now, because uh, all our fans have been asked, why don't you guys sing in English? Okay, so yeah. up to now it's only in Portuguese. Yeah. Yeah. And for how long will you stay in here in the world? Uh, we, we can live in Europe, so I don't know, it depends on how things turn out for us. Because we're living in the United States.